What's going on guys, it's your boy Apple here with All Things Sports and today's video is a topic I really wanted to talk about and that is do you feel like the popularity of baseball has diminished post-steroid era and do you feel like the quality of the game has diminished at all post-steroid era? And talking about the quality of the game, I would say that that is a very subjective uh, answer. If you appreciate good pitching, then today's era is, uh, is for you. There's not a lot of super high scoring games compared back to the steroid era when you saw super high scoring games and guys you know, chasing 40, 50, 60, even 70 home runs uh, a season. So now if you're the type of person that likes high scoring games, that likes offense in baseball, then obviously you would prefer the steroid era. But in terms of popularity, I feel like popularity of baseball has taken a hit. And that is due to the fact that I feel like if you really enjoy today's baseball, um, you're, I'm not going to say a true fan of it, but you can appreciate the nuances of it. Appreciating good starting pitching and low scoring games is something that an individual who in, truly enjoys baseball can understand. Um, it's not all about offense. Now, the popularity in of itself, due to the casual fan that you know sometimes watches, it, sometimes does it, is taking a hit because people chasing the 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 home run club, I mean, that's that brought attention and brought a fan that was outside of the realm of the casual baseball watcher to watch baseball. So obviously if you can potentially watch a piece of history um, being made with, you know, let's say Barry Bonds or Mark McGuire breaking, breaking the single season home run records, then you'll tune in and watch it regardless. If that's something that was on the map at the beginning of the season, you'll pay attention to the season and watch that person. Not to mention that for a person that didn't necessarily appreciate baseball in terms of defense and pitching, um, I would say it was more watchable for them seeing guys, you know, crush home runs out of the park. But not to mention that pitchers back then just threw a lot harder. It was a very even playing field in the story era and the fact that, you know, you saw guys throw harder than people have ever thrown. Um, and just the speed and the raw power of the game, I think, appealed to just more people on a casual basis. But the popularity in that regard has taken a hit. But I feel like the people that still watch baseball, uh, who are big fans of it, I still love watching baseball, um, don't need high-powered offenses and guys chasing 70 home run club to just watch the game. I feel like the people that are still here truly enjoy the game for what it is. Um, and then that's not necessarily a bad thing. I mean, you see, I wouldn't even go as far as to say that the negative PR from Roger Clemens, uh, Rafael Palmero, uh, Mark McGuire being brought into court necessarily negatively affected the sport. Obviously it was a little bit of a black eye, not a little bit. But you see now at the NFL the type of negative PR they're getting from domestic violence and uh, guys violating substance abuse and performance enhancing drugs and things like that. And that's something that's been in the NFL and it's probably going to be in the NFL because it's just naturally a very violent sport in terms of what you derive to get the motivation to play on a game in game out basis. It's just inherently violent. That's not to say it's a bad thing. It's just what it is. Um, and people, that's the NFL is the most popular of any major sports league at the moment. And it has substantially more dirt on it than baseball does. Baseball had a black eye in terms of performance enhancing drugs, but you never really saw people outside of the game be arrested for violent crimes or domestic abuse or domestic violence. So I won't even say that that negative PR from the story era really brought the quality of the, the game down outside of the baseball field. Um, it is just what it is. So I would say that the quality of the game is just, if you're a true baseball fan, it's subjective. If you prefer this, pitching dominant era to the high offense era, um, it's for you. And even if you preferred the high offense, if you're just a fan of baseball, you still watch it because you enjoy watching it. Whereas in popularity, I feel like it has taken a hit because of the casual fan who doesn't necessarily view um, baseball on a daily or weekly basis had just more of an incentive to watch it because some of the things going on in the field superseded just seasonal things. It was, you know, history making stuff. So I feel like that brought more attention to the game itself. But that's just my opinion on this. I want to know what you guys think. Please leave your comments down below. This is Apple with All Things Sports and I'll see you guys later.